Flaxseed has amazing properties when it comes to reversing all of those chronic illnesses that we have, like diabetes, metabolic syndrome, non-alcoholic fatty liver, hypertension, high blood pressure, and heart disease, like stroke and heart attack. So we've got all these metabolic diseases and the overwhelming research over the last 50 years has shown the benefits of flaxseed to reverse it. But what we also know is that all of these conditions are linked together. So if you've got diabetes, you're more likely to have a, 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 a cacophony of metabolic syndromes. You'll have a bit of non-alcoholic fatty liver, a probably high uh, hypertension, and probably on the way to a stroke or a heart attack. They're all linked one way or another. And what we see is when we look at why, we know that the driving forces of all of these conditions, all these chronic health conditions, are inflammation, oxidation, mitochondrial dysfunction, gut dysbiosis, and poor nutrition. Now, I've covered those um, many, many times in all my other videos, so you'll get an understanding when you watch those other videos. But we know they drive this, which drive all those conditions. So the key here is to find a nutrient, e.g., for example, flaxseed, which helps lower all of these and lower all of these. Now, there is no pharmaceutical in the world that comes anywhere close to the benefits of flaxseed because you'll often take, a, 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 for example, you'll take something for diabetes or metabolic syndrome, it'll probably increase your risk of heart attack or hypertension. You'll take something for non-alcoholic fatty liver and it will probably increase your risk of hypertension or heart disease. So you see, when you're dealing with nutrition, in this case, flaxseed, this super, super nutrient that has so many layers of nutrition that's able to work on all of these levels and more for reversing these conditions. Yes, reversing and preventing these illnesses. And when we just look at one to begin with, diabetes, uh, the studies on diabetes, uh, obviously there's lots of human studies I'll talk about in a moment, but an overwhelming body of research studying animals like rats, dozens in the last five years alone, dozens of studies show that when rats are given flaxseed, about 10% of their meal, so for us, that's probably about 30 grams, which, by the way, is all what the studies all say for human experimentation. 30 grams seems to be around about the magic number. So um, we'll talk about how you can take it later on. But it, it comes in when they give these this 10% of their diet in flaxseed, it decreases fasting blood glucose. This is for diabetes, remember. It decreases the glycated hemoglobin. That's kind of the oxidized hemoglobin that can no longer function properly and gets in the way. It decreases LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, uric acid, and lots of other markers of diabetes. So these are just the top three. And by the way, uric acid is linked with gout, remember? So if you've got gout, you probably say, oh, I could probably take some flaxseed. Yes, you can. It, it lowers plasma LPS, which is lipopolysaccharides. That actually comes from the gut. And this lipopolysaccharide goes around the body and causes all the damage in all the organs and leads to lots of adverse health effects and so on. It lowers that by fixing gut health, which is what I mentioned over here. And then it also increases your own antioxidant system in your body. So your body has its own enzyme systems which are able to become antioxidants and fight off all those nasty free radicals, oxidation. And it increases that instantly. It lowers inflammation and all the major inflammation markers, tumor necrosis factor, interleukin, uh, melanolidehyde, all the major ones they use in animal and human studies, and they find that they're all lowered consistently across the board. It improves gut health, and it decreases the, the, the microbiome, the, the gut bacteria that are linked with diabetes and fatty liver and uh, obesity and weight gain and so on, the formicities and it increases the bacteria deaths, which are the good ones. That are, of course, you want them all in balance. You don't want to get rid of them, but you want it more of the good ones, and that's what linseed does. So it works at all these different levels. And as a result of that, it produces short-chain fatty acids that go around the body and are potent antioxidants, things like butyrate and acetic, uh, acetate or acetic acid, you would know it as vinegar. Your body produces its own, so it has all these benefits around the body, particularly in helping reverse diabetes type 2. And just as important, it helps repair the damage done 
by a standard Western overprocessed, high sugar, high fat diet. So overwhelmingly, it helps repair the pancreas and the functioning of the pancreas, which when it comes to diabetes, is the organ that produces insulin and regulates insulin around the body. So the message is it works at all levels, linseed works at all levels in the rat studies. And there are dozens, dozens of studies of human type with type two diabetes and flaxseed, and they consistently show benefits consistently across the board under all possible scenarios and conditions. And here is a 2019 study where they took 20 grams of flaxseed or psyllium because these patients were actually both diabetic and had constipation. Interestingly enough, they go together a little bit if you look at the research. And this is over a 12 week period, 77 patients, diabetics with constipation. And as a result of either one of these conditions, but hold on, constipation decline, still consistently improved, body mass index weight decreased, cholesterol and LDL C cholesterol went down, glycemic control improved, and you're ready? Flaxseed outperformed psyllium as well. It was the best one. Now you put in perspective that flaxseed is about five dollars a kilo you grind it up and you can add it to your breakfast you can put it in a smoothie you can do anything you want with it it's got so many options out there and you can see the benefit in there in that crossover between patients who had diabetes by the way it would improve many many other conditions of the diabetics as well then we'll get a a 2020 study six weeks gestational diabetes this is diabetes that occurs with pregnancy as a result of extra stresses in there, but also diet and lifestyle factors as well. And in this case, they use flaxseed oil, two grams per day, not much, 60 women, and it led to a decrease in fasting plasma glucose, blood glucose, a decrease in insulin and insulin resistance, and an increase in insulin sensitivity. In other words, it was en enabling the blood sugar, the sugar in the blood to be able to get into the cells quicker and more effectively and not stay out there and do damage. Now it also lowered the very low density cholesterol and the total cholesterol and fortunately it lowered in inflammation and oxidation which are the driving force behind many of the factors in it. Then when they combine all the studies in meta-analysis um, there's a 2022 study where they combined literally looked at dozens but they got the seven best studies and in the seven best studies they found it, it led to a decrease in fasting blood glucose, increase, sorry, decrease in insulin concentration in the blood, a decrease in glycated hemoglobin. That's the hemoglobin in your blood that gets damaged as a result of the sugar and uh, a decrease in insulin resistance. So again, all the parameters mimicking what's already been here and that each of these studies repeat and show up more and more. Now, of course, more recently, a 2023 meta-analysis, in this case, they did looked at 13 of the best studies. And they, they look at the best studies because what they want to do is get the actual best results. And in these studies, it, it lowered the glycated hemoglobin, it lowered the blood sugar level fasting, it lowered the cholesterol, um, LDL cholesterol, and total cholesterol, and increased the good balance HDL, high density lipoprotein. All of that overwhelmingly shows, but in, in more of a case study, which is the individual study, and this way you see a little bit of variation, they use 16 grams per day. Now, in many of the studies, they've used 30 grams. And in this in study, just 16 grams per day, over 12 weeks, 82 patients type, with type 2 diabetes, decreased fasting blood glucose, decreased hemoglobin, glycated hemoglobin, decreased total cholesterol, and decreased triglycerides. It just keeps repeating, doesn't it? So now a little bit of variation in a 2022 study where they looked at uh, after the meal blood glucose levels, postprandial glucose levels. And what they did was give 19 patients uh, with type 2 diabetes 15 grams before breakfast. And they wanted to see what it did with the blood sugar levels. So just before breakfast, and they, they gave them 15 grams, and it led to a 17 to 24% decrease in post meal glucose. So if they had a bit of sugar in the meal, and the glucose was going to go up, it lowered it by as much as 17 to 24%. And they measured that for a period of up to about two hours in the study. So it's a win-win. You can have it before the meal, during the meal, for having the benefits. Now, here is another study returning to the rat study. But this is, this is very interesting because it's looking more at a generational impact of flaxseed on diabetes. Because what happens is 
uh, things like gestational diabetes and diabetes type 2 with women uh, uh, during pregnancy can lead to some underlying problems, again, greater risks of diabetes type 2, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease in the infants as they grow up and when they grow up. And this study on rats, and of course, because it's following generation, we do the rats because they're only three years instead of 33 years, a 2015 where they use flaxseed oil during pregnancy and lactation. So both during the pregnancy and while the, the rats were breastfeeding. And it looked at the impacts on female offspring. It led to a, a decreased damage due to the uh, maternal hypoglycemia. So when you've got too much blood sugar, it's too high, it can actually increase, as I said earlier, the risk of other conditions occurring in the uh, offspring. And here it stopped that occurring, so a win. And it led to a promoting the normal function and structure of the pancreas and the beta cells in the offspring. In other words, it stopped the damage occurring to the pancreas, which is the place in the beta cells where the insulin is produced in the offspring. So the next generation was protected as a result of flaxseed. Atherosclerosis, or the plaque in the artery, is a serious health risk. And most of us think that it's cholesterol. Well, cholesterol involved in there, it is there, but it's not the risk factor. The risk factor is actually the calcification, the hardening of the plaque, which makes it rigid and doesn't keep that nice cholesterol flexibility in there. How do I know that? Well, I wrote a book years ago called The Great Cholesterol Deception, which goes and looks at the science of it. So the message, first of all, is cholesterol is not the issue, but atherosclerosis is a problem, the buildup of the plaque. And clearly you want to stop that. What the studies show is, and they do the studies on rabbits, believe it or not. Yep, they give them high fat diets. They give them high sugar processed cafeteria style diets and they develop a plaque similar to humans. And so they use that as the animal model. And by giving them small amounts of flaxseed, there's a 46% reduction in the production of the plaque. In other words, even though they're still feeding them the junk foods, the plaque slows down the production. Wow, and what happens if humans, well, we're gonna get onto that in a moment. Now, they, if they use one of the extracts, which I've said, SGG, sequoisocyanol diglucide, which is why I call it SDG, that's the major, that's the major lignin found in, in flax. There's a 73% reduction in the plaque progression. Wow. This, this out, outperformed, in fact, there is no drug that comes anywhere near this. And so we've got something that stops the progression of it. So everyone all of a sudden just started adding 30 grams of linseed into their meal every, oh, hold on, look, this is 30 grams. Look, look how small it is. It's not much. You can mix it in a smoothie. I do. You can sprinkle it on your breakfast food if you have a healthy breakfast food. You can add it to just about anything, soups and you name it. Look, it's an incredibly small amount. And, oh, no, I don't like the taste. Get over it. Grow up. It's time you started having flax. The, the winning features of flax are overwhelming. I'm already high on it. So it stops the progression, but also reduces total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, which are indicators of atherosclerotic plaque and so on. It increases the uh, HDL cholesterol and decreases inflammation. This is pretty amazing. No drug comes anywhere near this. And then we've got another ingredient in flaxseed, alpha linolenic acids, that's in the oil component of it, just prevents the atherosclerotic progression. So there's lots of ingredients in there and just adding that to your diet, nutrition, your program every single day has lots of benefit. You'll see my other videos where it helps with other cancer and so on. We'll talk about that in a moment. But alpha linolenic acid, that's the one. Now I should note here that there are lots of others. If you go to one of the uh, pharmaceutical based doctors, they'll tell you you can't unblock arteries. You can, I've known about that for ooh, probably 30 years. In fact, I wrote a book. Yep, yep, here it is. Reversing heart disease, high blood pressure, and blocked arteries without drugs. Wow. So you have a bit of background. And by the way, this preceded AI. And there's uh, 800 references in this scientific journal references. Now, there's a lot more available now. They all say the same. And here we've got other things that you can quickly add in. So you've been told you've got a plaque in the arteries, which you do if you're on any form of Western diet. Then you can add some res resveratrol, um, which... If that's that purple thing that comes in grapes and wine, but you don't get enough in there. Curcumin, 
um, turmeric, quercetin you find in onions, um, berberine, which is the anti-diabetic uh, miracle food that everyone's talking about for reversing diabetes, along with linseed and flaxseed, of course, coenzyme Q10, omega-3, and believe it or not, gut health has a very important role in reversing atherosclerosis. So apart from flaxseed, you can add those ones on and you've got a win-win situation. Now, we, in terms of what happens if you're having or had a heart attack or you're on the way, what happens if your arteries are blocked? Well, normally you'll have a little bit of blood supply cut off to the heart or the brain or somewhere. And this actually occurs reasonably frequently. It's, it's not the big one heart attack. You have lots of little bits of damage. And so they put some rats, severe obese rats, again, feeding them a cafeteria style diet. And um, the flaxseed decreased the mild ischemic lesions. This is when it cuts the blood supply off to the heart and as a result causes damage to the heart. And, and as a result reduces cardiac injury. It, it reduces endothelial dysfunction. The endothelium is the inner lining of the arteries, which is the main player when it comes to high blood pressure, hypertension. So from the earlier uh, information I presented, you can see that it reduces hypertension, then it reduces the probably the endothelial um, dysfunction and damage. And again, cholesterol. There are so many factors in there for cardio. This flaxseed really is a cardiovascular miracle, so to speak. Um, even when the rats continued, the obese rats continued eating a uh, yep, cafeteria-style diet. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that. In fact, the best thing you can do right now is head out, get some linseed, grind it up, use it daily on a daily basis, start moving towards a Mediterranean slash paleo diet, more fruits, veggies, nuts, herbs, spices, all those things that I'm talking about. Watch my other videos because there's so much information. And together, all of this information leads to a reduction, not just in diabetes and hypertension, but chronic heart disease, which is our biggest killer in our society. So if you wanna make a big and significant improvement in that, just adding flaxseed, of course, changing your lifestyle and other factors in your diet, we know that flaxseed lowers oxidation, inflammation, blood lipids, these are the triglycerides, diabetes, atherosclerosis, hypertension, obesity, and reduces, dramatically reduces the risk of chronic heart disease. The model is really simple. Increase your flaxseed, increase your healthy foods, increase your lifestyle and the environmental factors and decrease the nasty ones you know that are, are causing it. Now there's a lot of information on my YouTube, so make sure you subscribe, share this with your friends so we can expand who gets this information and there's a lot more healthier people out there.